Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. A lot of clouds today, a little sunshine from time to time, and high temperatures climbing into the upper 50s. 59, the official high today here in Waco. Average is about 60, so pretty close to where we should be. Let's take you live outside. This is in Temple, our live Centex Sema Scudder Sky Tracker. It's on top of the Kyo Building in downtown Temple. And skies right now are mostly cloudy. We are expecting though those clouds to thin out here over the next several hours. Wanted to show you the very latest on the drought monitor, and this is not good news because now look what the red is. Red severe and extreme drought here across parts of McLennan County, over toward Bosque, Hamilton, down toward Mills, Limpasas, Coriel. Very, very dry conditions right now across our area. And the rest of us, we're talking McLennan County, areas to the south and to the east, still, it is still not looking good either. Moderate to severe drought. We just can't seem to get any rain coming through our neighborhood, at least not right now. And look at the burn bands. We went from just a couple now to uh, quite a few here in the central part. Again, that does include uh, Waco, but down in Bell County, you are not under the burn ban at this time. So we will watch that very, very closely. Our satellite loop shows the cloud cover on top of us. And again, it's kind of streaming in from the southwest to the northeast. We do have a frontal system on the way that will sweep through later on tonight. And that should just kind of clean out all the clouds, give us some drier air behind it there, and uh, you know, provide a pretty nice looking frost. Friday across the region. We've got 56 degrees here in Waco as well as Mahea, 58 Temple over toward Colleen. It is 54 degrees right now. In Comanche, skies are mostly cloudy down in Branham and College Station. They're both checking in right at 60 degrees. So here's what it looks like in our future cast. We are looking at, again, partly to mostly cloudy skies as we go throughout the evening. There's the cold front, and I think by midnight it's going to be knocking on the door here. So Cold front on the way, it'll sweep through. It will uh, clear us out overnight. So by early tomorrow morning, we'll be waking up to mainly clear skies, upper 20s to lower 30s across the board. And then as we go throughout the morning, a lot of sunshine. Again, it's going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow, thanks to the front moving through. About 51 degrees or so by noon, and then by the afternoon, we'll top out mid, maybe a few uh, close to uh, upper 50s in some spots. But I generally think that most areas will be a little bit cooler. Your Friday night looks good. Sunshine, our winds turn more out of the south overnight Friday into Saturday, and that means some warmer weather starts to move. And again, low 30s to start the day on Saturday. And as we go throughout the day on Saturday, mostly sunny skies, temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 60s. So definitely looking pretty good as we kick off the weekend here across our area. Tonight, though, it is mostly cloudy. We're not going to see clearing, though, until after midnight, and low temperatures fall to 35 degrees, winds out of the north at 5 to 15. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, a little breezy. 56 degrees will be the high, north winds at 15 to 20. Now, as we look ahead here, this is the long-range 10-day forecast. Sunshine on Sunday, 71, and a really good shot of some rain right now on Monday. That is some great news because we need the rain. You saw the drought monitor, so we need the rain. So a good shot of some rain on Monday, 71 degrees on Tuesday. This is Groundhog Day on Wednesday. Front's on the way, and then look at that. Temperatures will drop. We'll have to keep a very close eye. Uh, next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we've got some colder air moving in, and we'll just see if that colder air meets up with some moisture around here. Uh, it could give us, you know, uh, maybe a little wintry mix for parts of the area, especially north. But again, it's way too far away right now to say anything. I just will keep an eye on it. We've got Haley Becker helping out. We're not, nighttime lows will be in the 20s and 30s. And then over toward Bryan and College Station, temperatures in the 50s. Uh, tomorrow, back into the 60s as we hit the weekend. And then here comes. Some rain chances as we hit Monday and Wednesday and even early Thursday with those temperatures falling down big time into the 40s for highs. So 